Hello, and thank you so much for coming back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I got a request on Instagram to share a decorated updated house tour with links and everything like that. And I don't know why I haven't thought about this before because I always get questions about where things are from. I always get compliments on how cute, dec how, how well decorated my house is. And thank you for that, but I'm going to say it's not me. Like, it's all my husband. He has a really good eye. He has really good taste. He incorporates my, I don't want to call it like feminine, maybe it's feminine decoration style, but I feel like it's a little more like bohemian minimalist. I don't know. I just really like like a pale pink, so I'm going to get that anytime I can. The girls are upstairs playing. Little Jack is laying on the floor, so I'm just going to share as quickly as I can because I have a minute. Um, the rooms are pretty much clean, but I am not perfect and I have three kids so I can't promise that it's all going to be spotless but the point is for you to see what it looks like and for me to share these links with you guys. Now I want to make a point that I am a very frugal person. I shop secondhand first before I buy anything before I buy anything new. I do research and I shop sales. So whenever I link these things it may not be the price that it was whenever we got it but you can keep an eye out or spend full price if you want. I'm just saying for me personally, I spend the least amount of money as I can while getting the best quality that I can. Okay, I'm going to start at my front door. So I have this basket and this snake plant. I love snake plants or just plants in general as decoration. Um, this is from Target. This basket was given to me. I love it as a blanket basket though. And the girls always like build forts and stuff with it, so it's perfect. Over here, I keep this blanket in this basket because the girls make pallets all the time whenever they want to have a snack and watch a movie. And this basket Jack's mom got us like four years ago from Target. This couch is not the best quality, I'm going to say that. But you can remove the... Um, the covers, the cushion covers, and wash them. And also all of the cushions come off, which is annoying because that means that the cushions slide around, but the girls love building forts with it. And this was only, I don't know how much it was not on sale, but it's from Wayfair. Um, and we paid like $500 for it, brand new. Um, so it's not super expensive, so I don't get super stressed out all the time. Like the cat did this, the girls spill stuff on it, but it's really easy to clean. Uh, I think it's great. And then all of these pillows are from Target over the last two, two or three years maybe. Th these ones were on sale. These weren't. I can probably link these if they still have them. Um, and then let's go over here. A salt lamp that is not plugged in. I just like the way it looks. More plants and a dead plant up there. That is from TJ Maxx, Target Dollar Spot. And then these are also from Target. I love them. Jack's mom painted this beautiful picture for me for my birthday two years ago. We need to add baby Jack. This rug is awesome. It is my favorite. Um, it's super easy to clean and I got it on sale from Wayfair. I one, After we bought it, I noticed a lot of people had it. So it's pretty common. I will definitely link that down below. This is a baby. He's a nice little decoration piece, huh? Huh, baby? He's nice to look at. He's not for sale, though. This is actually my best friend lent this to me, but I almost bought it off of Amazon, so I can link that. It's great, and it's not super tacky. I normally don't like gliders like this, but it fit well with what we have going on in here, so I'm glad, I'm glad about that. All right, over here is a map. We needed something for this wall because... This is where our TV used to be mounted. This is from Hobby Lobby. I am not 100% sure how accurate it is, but it looks nice and I enjoy looking at it. This lamp was a gift. It was a hand-me-down as well as this table. This was actually new. It's from Target, but it was a gift, so I did not buy that. Then coming over here, this basket is awesome. It's beautiful. Jack loves it. He wishes we had more, but I bought it for $3 at a garage sale. Again, another plant as decoration. I think this is the best idea. I love it. It looks so nice and it brings life to our living room or any room for that matter. Okay, so this entertainment center is awesome. I love it. We actually used to have another one, but it was glass and I didn't like being able to see through it because all of this is filled with art stuff and homeschool stuff. 
I'm not gonna open it because it's a mess and I would rather show you guys whenever it's like organized. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be transparent. You see? Art stuff, it's a mess. Art stuff, it's a mess. The only thing that's pretty organized is the homeschool stuff on this side. And we have like puzzles and Legos and stuff over here. Um, anyway, I got this from Ikea. This is from the MNES line or however you say it. This is dirty. Um, we love it. We have so many furniture pieces and it's an Ikea for it's an, it's an Ikea piece that uh, is like actually well made. It feels sturdy. We like it. This is from JCPenney's, my mother-in-law, not JCPenney's, this is from TJ Maxx, my mother-in-law got it for me. I need to put this back on, the girls took it off. For Christmas two years ago, I think, we usually have books right here, but right now they're both just gone. Um, this is from Art Naturals, I really like this. This is not a decoration piece, but we're going out of town and I wanna bring it. Um, and then I like these baskets from Target, like from the dollar spot. There's always different ones, and they're really well made. They're good for plants. Right now we have Legos in them because Mia got Legos for her birthday. But it fits nicely on here. Um, this TV was a gift. Somebody gave it to us. It's really nice. So this is from Target. My mother-in-law got it for Jack whenever he got his job at the church because... Um, for, for his office. Um, so what's funny is whenever we moved into the apartment we lived in before this, I really wanted this for our kitchen. And that was like two years ago probably. And we have been trying to decide which picture to print to put in here for two years. Um, my husband is a photographer and my friend thought this entire time that this was a picture that he had taken, which is funny because it's just the stock image. Okay, so, oh. And I didn't share this mirror. Oh my gosh, everybody I know loves this mirror. Everybody comes into my house. Plenty of people have asked me if they can have it if I ever get rid of it. I love this mirror so much. Like four places ago, four, four places we've lived ago, um, my husband and I bought this and an entertainment center and a TV in the same day because we felt like we were gonna stay in that apartment for a long time and then we only ended up being there for a year like we normally do. Um, but this has gone with us everywhere. I think this is the piece of furniture that we have had the longest, that we love the most. I love having, I highly, highly, highly recommend if you live in a small space, definitely get a mirror to open it up. I can't tell you how much I love having, I have always loved having this mirror in every living room. It makes the space feel so much bigger and so much more open and the light reflects off of it so you're getting even more light um, especially if that's something that you're needing. I think having a mirror is definitely like a really good minimalist decoration piece. Anyway, I highly recommend it. And it was like $60 or something, which is not expensive for those, uh, for like big mirrors like that. I highly recommend looking for them. Hobby Lobby, they usually have really good sales, uh, but definitely Marshalls and what's the other one? J TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx. That's a great place to look for any kind of furniture, I think. Then we have this little clock, super cute, I love it. And then on to one of my favorite parts of my house is my coffee bar. Again, so many plants because I just think it's so necessary. This also doubles as like another spot for homeschool stuff. This is our morning basket and then this right here is our loop schedule, but this piece is actually something that was really important for me to have whenever I started nesting because we love having coffee and like tea and all of that fun stuff, but ignore my dirty kitchen, but like we don't have a lot of space for it on the counters. So this is something that we carefully thought out and we actually, again, got these pieces from Ikea. This is two pieces. I will link these. Um, and then all of the baskets are from Ikea. In here, it's just coffee stuff. I'm it's just coffee stuff, but I'm actually going to do a coffee bar tour video probably. But I I personally think coffee stuff is so pretty, so I like having it as decoration. Especially this. Look at this. I just I love it. And this is pretty. And we have plants up here, a teapot that Jack bought me like three years ago for my birthday. I love it. It's just definitely one of my favorite favorite spaces and then again another plant that is somehow still alive i am so proud of this thing okay back to 
this area. This is the stairs. They're a little dirty. Um, this is just a key rack. I don't know where it's from. I keep stuff in here. I actually don't like keeping stuff in here, but that's just where we are right now. Um, I actually got this out of the garage of my godmother's house, so I definitely can't link that. My sister-in-law made us this whenever we bought our house. So sweet. Um, then my cousin bought us that one year for Christmas and then printed this and framed it whenever we moved into our house. Look how happy those people are. How cute. Um, this is just the bathroom. This was a hand-me-down. This was... I somehow got it 40% off at Hobby Lobby because it has like just because it has little dings down here but there was a really ugly mirror here so I really love this like mirrors I love mirrors just a simple white towel you know um, back here is a basket from Target I'm sure that looks familiar to you we just keep toilet paper back there and then I really wanted some fun quirky decorations in the bathroom I still want to paint the walls pink we've been saying that for a year now um but I love these. I think they're so cute. And cows are actually my favorite animals. So those were perfect. But it's a really, really small under the stairs bathroom. I love it though. It's nice. And it gets really cold in here, weirdly. All right, after we move from the living room and the coffee bar area, this is also like the dining room area. This table is amazing. I don't love it for this space, but I love the table so much that I'm not willing to get rid of it. It's Real wood, it's really good quality, I love it. Our friend and the guy who helped us buy the house uh, gave it to us, so that was so sweet. And I thought about cleaning the kitchen, but I realized it's too small to even have decorations in here, so that's my kitchen. Okay, now moving into my bedroom. I have this basket right here. My parents bought an RV and the sellers left the basket in there. So they gave me that and I love it. That's where our dirty clothes usually goes. And then again, another one of those Ikea pieces, the M Mness line or whatever. I know this is a really popular dresser. I love it. This is the white, like just the regular white one. And then the piece out there is white stain. Um, and then as decoration, this pretty picture of my husband that my mother-in-law drew and then I use these with a spray as wipies for Jack um, so I just leave those out on the counter or the the top and then some books that my husband brought home from his office that I'm hoping that we might read and then this I don't know why this is here um, and then a diffuser a TV yes we have a TV in our bedroom we became those people after we had a third child. Okay, over here is one of my favorite spaces. But it actually makes me sad because since little Jack was born, Jack had all of his work stuff set up there, like his big computer and everything like that because that's where he was working from during the whole corona thing and from like his paternity leave. And this morning he actually went back to work. So he packed it all up last night. It's actually still really dirty and really dusty because I got to a point of like, not even wanting to clean it because he let it get so messy. But I'm just so sad because I really loved having him work from home. Oh, my glasses are very reflective, I'm sorry. Um, so that's just a little bittersweet for me, but he built me this desk and he let me decorate it however I wanted to, even though it's kind of girly and this is also his bedroom. Um, I just love it, I love this space. I'm looking forward to being able to work from here again, but that means that Jack is gone and that makes my heart sad. So he built me this desk. It is just a piece of wood from Home Depot. And then these brackets right here, uh, Amazon, I think. And then I actually bought one of these chairs at Hobby Lobby for like 40 bucks. And then I showed my friend and she was like, I'm getting rid of one. Do you want it? And I said, yes. So I returned the one from Hobby Lobby and paid $15 for that. And then over here, another really good plant for decoration. It's a little bit dead looking. I should probably water it, but my friend moved and gave me all of her plants. So this is my, this is my Jaina plant. That's her name. It makes me happy. This is something that I keep my memory cards in. My mother-in-law gave me that. Somebody was getting rid of it. My aunt bought me this at Target from the dollar spot. And then, um, over here, this basket is from Target. It's where I just keep all of my electronic stuff. And then this is actually from a thrift store. I originally got it because you can, it's a purse. You can put stuff in it. Um, 
my friend made me that. I just am not able to hang it up right now because I don't have a frame, but it's really, it's really pretty. I'll actually link her Etsy shop if she still has it. Anyway, because you can put stuff in it, it's like storage, and we were actually going to move into an RV or a bus for a little bit, so I thought that was great uh, decoration and also like multi-purpose. And then this, again, I love the pink stuff. Uh, this is from Hobby Lobby. It's just a fun little print. And then moving over here, this is like Jack's little corner, kind of. Um, this is from Amazon. Then I just have my wraps hanging up here, my diaper bag. I actually always put my diaper bag back right here. I'm really proud of myself for that. Down here is just diaper pail. Um, this actually needs to get hung up on the wall. My friend who made me that little sign in there also made me this, and I love it. I need to hang it right here, but Jack needs to do that. Um, this normally actually looks cute and I'm like really disappointed that this is what it looks like as I'm doing my house tour But this is the only chance I have to film this video and I want to get it filmed so that I can edit it and upload it While we are driving because we're getting ready to go on a trip and that's why it looks like this is because all of my Things that I know I need to pack like as I come across them as I come across them I'm throwing them in here because Baby Jack does not sleep in his crib. He sleeps in my bed. Um, but like I said, the crib it usually looks really cute. So if you follow me over on Instagram, I will post a picture whenever we get back. And this is not so crazy. Um, and then over here we have, again, more Ikea pieces. I love these nightstands. We both have one. I have a salt lamp here. And then we always admired these lamps. This was given to me. Um... We always admire these lamps whenever we went into Hobby Lobby. It reflects off the wall so nicely. But they were like $80 a piece, and then we went in one time. Is the I don't still have this tag on here. I'm actually surprised about that. Um, and they were like $20 a piece. So we grabbed those. We were super excited about them. And they're just hung up on the wall with another natural wood bracket. We love natural wood in our bedroom. Yeah, that was given to us. So so like I said, a lot of our stuff is hand-me-downs or like upcycled things, which I love because again, I'm so frugal, but I really like for things to look nice. And then Jack's side is the same over here. Um, okay, so I'm kind of bummed about my bed. Can you hear the baby? He's talking. I'm bummed about my bed. This is just the comforter, okay? Um, this is not, this isn't a nice thing. Our duvet cover looks like this, but I'm in the middle of washing it and it's a pain to get on. So just imagine that my bed looks like this all over. It's so nice. I love it. It's from Target like two years ago. I hope I'm still able to link it because it is so comfortable. And then this rug I love. I kind of want to put it in front of my coffee bar whenever we get a big rug for in here. Um... I have disposable diapers because whenever we go on our trip, I don't know if she's going to want me washing poopy diapers in her washing machine. Um, anyway, this is from Marshalls. I love it. Another good place for rugs. And then in here, again, these were hand-me-downs. These rugs. I love them. They're such good quality. They come out so fresh whenever you wash them, but you do have to wash them frequently. Um... We have this. What is this shower curtain from Target? Um, this is from Target. It's so cute. I love it. The girls brush their teeth in here. Their closet is in here. This is a family bathroom. This is from Target. It's messy because Tessa uses it to brush her teeth really good. And then over here, these are the same shelves that are on top of our coffee bar and in the corner of the wall in the living room. I will link these. They're just the Threshold brand from Target. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. We just, this needs to be closed, but... I choose practical things as decoration. And then up here, this is a fake plant, obviously. It's the only fake plant I have in my house because I don't like them, but there's no light in here, so I needed a fake plant. And then... My friend Lindsay made me that. It was one of my favorite verses like two years ago. It still is, but this was like a life verse for me two years ago. Oh, and then we have these. We have these right here. Um, I bought those as hooks for uh, Jack's work stuff and like my purse and stuff whenever we lived in our apartment before this. Um, I just put it in my bedroom, but then we use them for their actual purpose, which was hanging up towels. But like I said, I like to use practical things as um storage like glass containers are great we got a bunch of these from ikea whenever we went to get the stuff for our coffee bar um like this these are things that we have and if you live in a small space or 
you do try and practice minimalism where you don't have a ton of like places to store things and, and storage areas and all of that, uh, if that makes sense. Um, you have to get creative. Like I still want my things to look nice, but I don't like when things are cluttered. So I just, I get creative. Like my makeup has been decoration in my bathroom for like two years. Um, this, I love the way this looks and it's really practical. Let me see what else. I know I had something out here. Oh, my coffee. Like I just showed you guys this. These things are such nice additions to my coffee bar and I'm not having to try and find a place for them in my small kitchen. And I just like, they just, I don't know. I just think it looks nice. That's just me though. Maybe not everyone agrees with me, but that's my house. I hope that this video wasn't like all crazy and jumbled and didn't make any sense. I know I was going kind of fast, um, but like I said, I have three kids and today is the one day I'm actually able to film this video. I don't know when I will get another chance and um, I really wanted to make it for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed, I hope it was helpful. I love minimalism and simple living and like making the most of your space. So like if you ever have any questions or like just wanna talk about it or like get your ideas out, I would love to be a part of that conversation. I love having those conversations with people. It makes me so happy. Um, we would love it if you subscribed, right Baby Jack? Cool. Or like this video if it was helpful for you. If you have any other minimalism related videos, is this camera gonna focus on him or me? I don't know. Um, that you want me to do, please tell me. I would be happy to do them. I'm starting to think of more and I'm excited to make them. And I'm sorry my glasses are so reflective. That's so annoying. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in our next one. Bye guys. <laughs>